What's up, Sprinters? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be going over all of the leaks that were recently announced, everything from Dragapult and Urshifu, as well as Solo Duo Trio Q. Hey guys, real quick before we get into the video, about 70% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you're enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so that you can stay up to date for whenever a new video drops. Peace. So, Dragapult and Urshifu, I'm really, really excited for these. Uh, when these got announced the other day, I was so hyped. Like, look at this guy. So, some some digging into his kit. Uh, I've been told he has a Lee Sin ultimate, where he just kicks people, and that's awesome. Um, Dragapult is also, like, super, super sick, but I'm more hyped for Urshifu, not gonna lie to you. Um, and then we have this, which is really cool. This is the original leak, saying that they were available to play. Um, and then, you know, changes made to Rayquaza. Hopefully that's like higher health or something, something good. Um, but this right here, number four, changes have been made to Dodrio, Mime, Zoroark, Sylveon, Blastoise, and Duraludon's moves to adjust the balance of Unite battles in the public test. I genuinely hope Zoroark, like, Zoroark maybe needs a damage nerf, but I think just shrink the range and it's fine. Dodrio needs a nerf for sure. Mime, get it out of my games. Sylveon Blastoise and Dura buffs would be awesome to see. And then we have stat changes as well for Mew, Guardi, Clefable, and Slowbro. So we already know Mew's getting a stat nerf. Guardi, Clefable, and Slowbro stat buffs would be crazy. I hope they actually don't buff Slowbro stats too much because he's already like kind of decent, right? They're like kind of good. So yeah, delete Mew exactly. But this is all exciting to see. This is very, very good news. Very, very happy to see. Um, and then we have, so this, this is Urshifu, so I, they did divide it up to single strike and rapid strike style. So this is one of the single strike moves, which looks cool as fuck. Um, and I guess this is the other one. It's like an uppercut. That's awesome. Um, now I wonder how the rapid strike works, because it looks like a, a single strike, right? Um, but it looks like maybe it's just like a splash, like a, I don't know. Maybe like an Aussie Whirlpool kind of thing. Not sure. And this looks insane. This this is like a close combat looking kind of animation. I'm excited for that. And then... What's this? Oh, he has more moves. Oh, are they like combos or are those his autos? I think those are his autos. Cub Fu going crazy. I love that. That's awesome. Rapid Strike looks weak, does it? Urshifu in general seems kind of weak, especially on ping. The value in Urshifu, see if he has an ultimate like Lee Sin's ult, um, the value in Urshifu will be unlimited. Okay, we have Dragapult now. Oh, this shit homes in. What the hell? Wait, this thing has stealth, okay. Hey, it's just firing Dreepy at people. That's awesome. And then, I guess that's your auto attack. Some sort of dash move. Maybe a quick attack or something. Dragon Breath. Shadow Ball. Nice. That's super sick. I'm, I'm excited. This kit looks fun. It looks very fun. It looks like... You know what it looks like? It looks like Twitch from League. The stealth mixed with like what looks to be um, an ADC. That'd be cool. Yeah, you can see, okay, so they added indicators. So with Scyther and Scizor, they didn't have indicators for like a move, you know, putting you into a, a specific form. With Urshifu, they do, and I think they're actually adding it for Scyther and Scizor, which is nice. Um, but yeah, this, this is cool. This is really, really cool. Oh yeah, here it is here. Scyther and Scizor. Um... And I believe there was... Oh, okay, so it starts off with Rock Smash and Headbutt. Wicked Blow or Throat Chop. Oh, Wicked Blow and Throat Chop. And then uh, Rapid Strike is Surging Strikes and Liquidation. Interesting. Um, the items. Items are crazy. So I think this is the... I forget what this is, but it's some sort of scarf. Um, and it gives... I can't read this. I can't read this. Do we do we have it in English? I don't. I can't read this. I don't know what they do. I don't know what. 
Is this like... I don't know. This is the, the crown. Apparently this is good. That's weak. I know that's weakness policy hated you clown. And this this is Zonia's hourglass. This is crazy. This gives you invulnerability for like a second. That's super hype. Um, and let's see. We also have draft pick, which is insane. Like, we have one band per team, and we have a whole draft mode. You know how awesome that is? They added a stack counter? Nah, no way. I don't believe it. Combo scarf? Is that what it is? I have no idea what it does. Draft is all we need to completely shake how stale it's been. Truge. But th this is really exciting. I'm really excited for draft. So it looks like you hover... It looks like you hover, like, you can hover your mons that you want to play, and you ban, which is cool. Um, yeah, you can choose a ban. Okay, so everyone gets to choose a ban. Interesting. like ban and blind pick it doesn't seem like draft because look this LD's locked in down here but these two haven't selected a character so I don't think it's draft pick I think it's just a ban phase no the Luca's not locked in the Luca's not locked in interesting this is exciting this is cool I'm I'm hyped for draft because this is gonna change everything it's gonna shoot a lot. And then there's Comfy. Comfy is like you and me, which is oh, crazy. Dude, he's like the best Lucario in the um, world. I'm gonna get rolled. Okay, here it is. Drain Crown. Restores HP equal to percent of damage dealt with attack-based basic attacks. Can someone save a champ? Can you imagine? I don't think it'll actually be good on the champ. This item, it gives HP an attack, but I wonder how good this item is. Because, like, it restores HP, but, like, it depends on the cooldown. depends on a lot of things, whether this item can actually be good or not. We have Rapid Fire Scarf. Increase your Pokemon basic attack speed by percent for a short time. Okay, this item's dog shit. This item is, uh... Hmm. This item's not good. This item... This item... Okay, I can't say that. This item will only be good on select few characters because of the way attack speed works in this game. Because attack speed works in increments of 4 frames. Which is really weird. Um, but this will only be good on select few characters. Imagine Crown Serena, actual queen. True. Let's see, so we have more items. So we have Slick Spoon that gives special attack, the Curse Bangle and Curse Incense, which we have attack and special attack respectively, and the Rescue Hood, which is HP and move speed. I wonder what the descriptions of those are. Comfy. Triage, Vine Whip, Floral Healing, Magical Leaf, Sweet Kiss, Grass Knot. Okay, so these are two, two of your starting abilities, and then you can choose... I wonder I wonder how Grass Knot works in this game. That'd be, that'd be interesting. See so that attack speed thing again? Attack speed only... So it, it's the exact reason red emblems aren't really good, right? Because attack speed works in a very unique way, where it only adjusts in increments of four frames right so if we i, I don't think i have the the sheet but ven sent me a data sheet for attack speed and math and blah 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 blah, blah. if you don't know ven she is the uh analyst of the world champion team black hand also the um one of the big math people over in math cord and unite db but she sent me this attack speed rundown sheet and it's a whole bunch of complicated mess, but it only works in increments of four frames. So it, that's why like that item will only be good on select few Pokemon. No, it's not based on 30 FPS or 60 FPS or anything like that. Um, and handheld is not actually locked at 30 anymore. It was at the start, but not anymore. Um, okay, so this is like a tether or what am I looking at? Dude, this is such a weird Pokemon.
Okay, maybe that's good. Oh, what is this? This looks strong. This looks like a really strong healing ability. Imagine if this denied vision. Imagine if you could just plop down a bush. Oh my god, it's actually like Yumi. It attaches. That's Vine Whip. That's crazy. Alright, Comfy better be broken. Oh, we have Urshifu's stats as well. 7900 to 15. 480 attack. I mean, this is just an attack weight mon, right? Depending on its scalings. And then, this is Dragapult. 470 attacks. This is also attacker. 5500s. Oh, wow. That's a significant increase. We might, um... Yeah, this, this is an ADC 100%. This is an ADC 100%. Holy. This might be the new sender. Confies, squishy supports. Oh, what is this special attack stat? You guys see this? The special attack stat? This is crazy. Most of the time you're sitting around here, like 391, right? But like, imagine you're playing solo queue and you do like a damage confi if it has the ability to. You 650 special attack base at 15. Holy. It has crit. Uh, let's look for more stuff. We have videos. I'm not going to look at the videos. Um, I think there is something else I missed. I don't, I don't know. It was all here. This is, I mean, regardless, this is all just like crazy. Pokemon gains one flower whenever a set amount of time passes. Pokemon gains four flowers when it enters tall grass. Pokemon can have a maximum of eight. When the Pokemon uses Synthesis, Floral Healing, or Sweet Kiss, all flowers attached to it are consumed, and the effects of those moves are boosted. Also, this Pokemon's movement speed increases when you're an ally Pokemon at half remaining HP. Or it has Soraka passive. Pokemon can attach itself to an ally Pokemon when it uses Synthesis, Floral Healing, or Sweet Kiss. While attached, the Pokemon with this ability is not affected by attacks and gradually recovers HP. Okay, so it's Yumi. So it's Yumi and Soraka in one. When the ally Pokemon this Pokemon is attached to gains more AOS energy than maximum hold, this Pokemon takes the excess. That's busted. That is busted. When the ally Pokemon this Pokemon is attached to scores a gold, this Pokemon scores the same amount of energy. That's insane, dude. Oh yeah, and we also have this. This is this is cool. So we have duo trios, solo duo trios, and we have fives. You, you now have split cues, guys. We have split cues. We have split cues. Finally. We can now, solo queue players rejoice, we no longer have to queue into five stacks. Finally. Now, from what I know, they haven't split the ladders yet. They haven't split the leaderboards. Um, but that's okay. If they're implementing a change like this, they'll implement a leaderboard change for sure. Um, so this is this is really hype. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. But yeah, that's honestly I'm very very uh, very content with all that. It's a lot of information, but I'm very very content with 